The King of Fighters has its fair share of characters. You of course have the all-time classics like Iori and the more obscure characters like Foxy. Today though, I want to talk about one of my all-time favorite KOF characters. The King of Critical Hits, Shingo Yabuki. Da, da, da! Who is Shingo? Shingo, like us, was a fan of the King of Fighters tournament. Specifically, he was a big fan of series protagonist Kyo Kuzanagi and his fiery fighting style. Shingo finds out that Kyo goes to the same high school as him and begs him to teach him how to shoot flames. Kyo takes pity on Shingo and teaches Shingo in exchange for food. Shingo would then go on to write down each one of Kyo's moves in his notebook, practicing every day in anticipation for the King of Fighters 97 tournament. He doesn't win, but Kyo does give Shingo his gloves as a reward for doing as well as he did. This motivates Shingo to try even harder. Ever since then, Shingo has been a mainstay of KOF, appearing in every game after 97 besides 12, 13, and 14. In KOF 11, he teams up with Iori and Kyo to stop Ash's plans. Unfortunately, Iori succumbs to the Ride of the Blood, almost killing Shingo, who was protecting an unconscious Kyo at the time. This is why he hasn't been in recent KOF games, as he's still recovering from almost being beaten to death. Although, as of the King of Fighters 14, he's recovered and has been practicing for his big comeback. Shingo is a bit of a goofy character. While he tries his hardest to copy the Kuzanagi style, it's far from perfect and he has his fair share of misfires. However, Shingo has one secret technique that gives him an edge. The critical hit. In KOF 97 and 98, while attacking with a special move, Shingo has the chance to land a critical hit. Criticals do more damage and have more hit stun, allowing for longer, more deadly combos. On the surface, it's a rather simple mechanic that doesn't sound too extraordinary, but in practice, it's really fun. Criticals add an extra oomph to attacks, so even though you didn't do anything special to trigger it, it still feels satisfying to land, even if they don't lead to anything. That being said, when you do land a critical hit and capitalize on it, it is quite rewarding. I should mention that Shingo isn't the only character who can score criticals, but the mechanic works the best with him. On the surface, Shingo looks like a milder Kyo, but Criticals, combined with memorable special moves like the Shingo Kick, make him stand out. So, despite the fact that some of his specials aren't as good as Kyo's, there's still reason to have him on your team. Shingo just wants to shoot flames, regardless of how long it takes. He might mess up a move or two along the way, or forget how to do something, but regardless, he's always trying his best, and that's one of the reasons why I like him. When I play fighting games, I prefer character over gameplay, so Shingo stood out immediately. Add to that the crazy specials and critical hits, and Shingo became one of my all-time favorites. And I'm sure I'm not the only one. If you've never tried Shingo out before, you should definitely give him a shot. He's pretty easy to pick up, but really fun to play. He's in both 98 and 2002 UM, which now both have silky smooth rollback netcode. Although, Shingo's chances don't look good for the base roster of KOF 15, but hopefully one day the King of Critical Hits will return to the King of Fighters. It might be a while though since he accidentally sent himself into the past. It's uh... It's a long story. And that's basically Shingo Yabuki. The critical hit system would be phased out of KOF after 98, and you know, despite being a relatively small thing, it's the thing I always think about when I think about Shingo, because it's such a interesting mechanic, really. It doesn't do much, but I think if they tweaked it a little bit and made it Shingo's quirk, if they ever brought him back for a modern KOF game, it would be really, really cool. So if he ever does show up in KOF 15, I hope he has critical hits. 
I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. Are there any obscure or underappreciated KOF characters that you guys like? I'd love to hear about it in the comments. As always, thanks for watching, and goodbye. Thank you!